In this video, we will show you how to add a captive web portal to an extreme cloud IQ SSID. Note that captive portals are often applied to open SSIDs, however, for this video we will add one to a PSK SSID. In order to add the captive web portal, navigate to configure, then network policy, edit the policy which includes the SSID to which the portal is to be added and select the wireless networks tab. Select the SSID to which you want to add the captive web portal. Move the slider left to enable captive web portal. For this example we will not use the web portal for user authentication or registration but only to provide use policy acceptance so we tick the UPA box. If you have previously set up a captive web portal page then it can be selected here. In this case we will add a new portal page, so we click the add button. Enter a name for the new captive web portal page. Typically you will want to customize the web portal page. Note that you can import HTML pages if you already have these set up, this may be the case if migrating from a previous solution or if your organization already has pages built for a similar application. You also have the option here to present a success page and in addition enable a browser to be redirected after successful login. We will now customize the default Extreme Cloud IQ Captive Web Portal page by selecting the Customization and Preview button. Note that both the acceptance and success pages can be customized. We will customize the acceptance pages so we should ensure that page tab is selected and then click the customize button. We can adjust the color scheme here if required. Now we will demonstrate how to change the default logo to an Extreme Academy logo. Note that this logo has already been uploaded into Extreme Cloud IQ however it is easy to add a new image file here if required. Please take note of the required dimensions for the new image. You can edit the text as required, like this. Typically this will be done in conjunction with the appropriate team in your organization to ensure compliance with regulations in your industry and region. You must then click the Save Configuration button at the top of the pop-up to save changes to that particular page, and then click the Save Configuration button in the lower right area of the pop-up to save all the customization changes. The portal we have just defined should then be shown as the default captive web portal for this SSID. We then click save to complete the update to the SSID in the network policy. Next click the deploy policy tab, and select the device for which this policy is to be applied and click upload. In this case we are performing an update to a policy which has already been applied to the device so we should select the Delta Configuration Update option. If we go to the Manage, Devices tab we can see the status of the configuration update and the configuration audit icon change to green once the update is complete. The captive web portal has now been added to the SSID. If we now connect to that SSID and open a browser window a customized page will appear. On acceptance the default success page will appear. In summary, we have shown the process to add a captive web portal for use policy acceptance to an SSID. Look out for more videos on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe to receive updates on additional how-to videos like this one. Thank you for watching.